and welcome to Adventures with Trains. I'm Thomas, this is an Adventure with Trains. located within the idyllic setting of the Broads National Park. It is connected to Britain's National Railway Network by the Bitten Line, running between Sheringham and Norwich. Adjacent to Hoverton and Roxham Station is the narrow gauge Bure Valley Railway. Running through scenery typical of Norfolk, it connects Roxham and Elsham. This is a narrow gauge of edge with trains. The Bure Valley Railway, built on the former East Norfolk Railway Line trackbed, first opened as a tourist attraction in 1990. Operated as a not-for-profit heritage railway, a small number of dedicated staff and volunteers provide a workforce running the 9 mile 15 inch gauge line. As of 2023, the Bure Valley Railway draws in 100,000 visitors a year. When I was a child riding on the Bure Valley Railway, everything seemed the perfect size for a child. Now as an adult, I'm not so sure.
Elsham, the Bure Valley Railway Line leads across the A140 at the Elsham Bypass. Originally crossed using a level crossing, the Bure Valley Railway now have Norfolk's only operational railway tunnel as their route into the town centre of Elsham. This is the Bure Valley Railway's Elsham Station. Beyond is Marriott's Way, a public footpath that traces another former track bed. While I wait for my return train, I've got time to explore this end of the Bure Valley Railway. Until demolition in 1990, the former Elsham South Station was the most complete former Great Eastern Railway Station remaining in Norfolk. It had to be demolished to make way for the Bure Valley Railway headquarters. Even as a narrow gauge railway, the Bure Valley Railway has its own ticket office, gift shop, whistle stop cafe, three platforms with overall roof, and railway workshop maintenance facilities. Five steam locomotives, three diesel locomotives, and 26 carriages are maintained here at the Bure Valley Railway Depot. 
coal. Firing steam engines since the early days of the railways, I read online that the Butte Valley Railway has been experimenting with alternative fuels. As long as the sounds and smells of steam are still present, I have no complaints. Being sat here now, and there was a stop cafe. I'm reminded that many visits here to the Butte Valley Railway as a child. As a lover of steam from a young age, and growing up in a village not far from Elsham, the trip here was a pretty regular occurrence with my mum. I don't know if it was her encouraging my love for trains, or just looking for a frugal day out, you know, under five channel three, so she'd have only had to pay for the adult ticket. With the train turned and prepared for its next journey, it's time to hop on board to travel back across Norfolk countryside onto Wroxham to change for a Norwich bound train. <laughs> I'm sure some may refer to the Bure Valley Railway as a toy railway. It continues to draw in visitors both young and old alike. For me it's been an enjoyable day out by train as well as a trip down memory lane. Exploring Britain by train is a great day out. Thanks for watching this adventure with train. If you haven't already please don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment. It will really help the channel grow.